Okay, so the next little bit of the show that we've got for you guys today is what we're going to call a methanol cannon. Now this thing looks uh, quite cute. Uh, we do not quite have something that artistic and um, adorable looking. Uh, but we have our own kind of makeshift uh, cannon on which we've to the shot. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I need to get that away eventually. Um, so, just a little bit about methanol while that setup is going along. So, uh, this methanol is a very high octane rating. What this means is that it's a measure of the tendency of the fuel to uh, be burned under a controlled environment. So, what happens is that if you have a very high octane rating, you can also have very high compression ratios in, in, uh, in the engine, and this also equates to high mechanical energy, which is basically power. So, uh, this is used uh, in 1965-2000 for IndyCar racing, so it's very powerful, and then now it's used uh, as ethanol uh, instead of methanol. Uh, but today it's still used in monster trucks and drag racing as well as the fuel. Uh, another little bit of chemistry down here is that methanol fires can actually be put out with water. This is because that water and methanol are miscible. So, in other words, they kind of all go all over each other and the water can put out the fire. Whereas if you had a petroleum or a gas uh, fire, what happens? You guys know it's oil. They're going to not mix and they separate and the petrol still burns. So, in some ways you can think that this is safer. Um, although, if you hit up YouTube and you look for methanol fire, you'll find that it is actually clear. So you can't see where the fire is. And you'll see people running around as if they're on flames, but they just, just can't see the fire. Um, so that might be a safety issue. But that's not on, is it? <laughs> uh, okay, so just before we flick that on, a little bit of more chemistry behind what's actually happening here. So in the bottle, we've got a little bit of uh, methanol as liquid and we've got some oxygen in there, and then what's happening is because methanol is very volatile, it turns into its gas phase, so you get an equation like this, where you've got the methanol, of course it's balanced, uh, methanol going with the oxygen, and we've got these two little uh, spark plugs of electrodes here, which is linked up to a power pipe to be our spark source, so in other words, we're stimulating like a one cylinder engine kind of thing, and when it combusts, you've got your carbon dioxide in your water as your product. Um, so, if this works, uh, you should be able to see the cork pop off, and not take me out, and um, the blue flame that also occurs when the combustion happens. So, take it away. 